Peninsula. Well, Charles said his goal was to free the science from Moses. What do you suppose he meant by that? Well, before Charles Lyell wrote his book, everybody looked at the geology, looked at Grand Canyon and said, wow, look at the flood did. He didn't like people interpreting Earth's history in light of the Bible. He wanted them to interpret Earth's history in terms of millions of years. Lyell is the primary guy responsible for inventing what today is known as the geologic column. How many have ever heard of the geologic column before? They divided the earth up into layers and gave them names, you know. Uh, Cenozoic, Mesozoic, Paleozoic, Archaeozoic, all that kind of stuff. Maybe you saw the movie Jurassic Park, named after the Jurassic layer, okay. Each layer of rock was given a name and an age and an index fossil. Now keep in mind, all this was done in 1830 before there ever was a carbon dating, potassium argon dating, rubidium strontium dating, lead 208, lead 206, uranium 235, uranium 238, none of those had even been thought of. So they didn't determine these great ages by any radiometric metric decay method. They just picked the numbers out of the clear blue sky. It's a fact the earth has many layers of sedimentary rock. That is just a fact. You can see them all over Tennessee here. How'd they get there? Well, there are two interpretations. One group says the layers form slowly over millions of years. The other group says, no, these layers are all from the flood in the days of Noah. And again, they're always trying to erase that line between the two and make their interpretation become part of the fact. And it's just not, okay? It's just their interpretation, that's all. The geologic column is actually the Bible for the evolutionist. The only place you'll ever find it is in the textbooks. It doesn't exist. This guy admits it. He said, if there were a column of sediments, uh, unfortunately, no such column exists. Did you know there is no geologic column? If there was, it'd be 100 miles thick. It doesn't exist. It's one of the lies in the textbooks. And actually, all of evolution is based on this lie right here. This is one of the most serious ones, in my opinion. It's true the Earth has layers. That's not the question. Okay? How did they get there, though? I mean, if that layer sat there for 10 million years waiting for the next one, don't you think it's going to rain once in a while in 10 million years? Why are there no erosion marks between the layers? Why are they stacked on top of each other just like a stack of pancakes? Hmm? And by the way, why are there no soil layers between the rock layers? I mean, soil builds up on top of rock. Don't you think there'd be some soil built up once in a while? Hmm? Look, if you get a jar of dirt and rocks and gravel and sand and mud and shake it up and set it down, it settles into layers for you in a few minutes. It doesn't take long. How many have seen those things you buy at the mall with two pieces of glass and different colored sand in between? You know, you flip it over and it makes all kinds of layers just in a few seconds. It doesn't take long.